I survived 200 days in this Minecraft Let's Play survival world. This is not <laughs> hardcore at all. Uh, the reason for that being is I die way too many times. If you watch the Let's Play series, you will see that. But I'm just going to get started. I know 200 days, not a lot. But, you know, I like to take a step back every now and then. But let's go. So we first, we spawn in and we came over here to this village area. Uh, there is a pillager outpost down there. We haven't actually gone in and raided it yet. I'm way too afraid of those things. Again, like I said, I die way too much. Second, we came in and we started our life in this village. Um, you know, we came through there, but the first thing we did was we built this huge farm. Why? I needed food. Why this big? You'll see, you'll like ask a lot of questions like that, but we built this farm. We have a lot of wheat and we got pretty much everything that we need. So we have our cows, we have our sheep, our pigs, and our chickens. And that was all in the first episode. So that was kind of like our first thing first. We needed to do that. Um, and then coming over here, we have our little like tree farm <laughs> where I, I'm i too scared to get the beefs. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I have almost like every tree in here um, that I need, right? So I don't have... I'm sure like a couple of them, but these, these are really just the basics. Again, 200 days in, not super, not super deep into this thing. I don't know why I have zombie flesh in my hand. Anyways, coming back here. So what was the first thing we built? Kind of first things first before we did any other builds besides this. So second thing, second, we built the church. What is everything? Every, every city need, city needs a church. Everything, everyone needs God. So we built this beautiful church. Mythical sausage design. We added a little bit of our own spazazz to it, but this is it. Um, I fear, I fear, I fear that our pastor here is uh, so long. Ah, yeah, and I don't know where he is. Can't find him. The theme of this series is I can't find anything anywhere ever. So you know. Anyways, this is that. Uh, you know, we'll get these books filled in there, but this is our church. Coming over here, our second thing, we built, oh, we need food, I was like, why can't I sprint? We built this little starter house. Now, this is my house that I lived in. This is the house I lived in before, right next to it, so you can kind of see. We uh, we upgraded a little bit, um, but this was, this was like fully built by me in this world i didn't do like creative i just kind of freehanded it i think it looks pretty good the inside's pretty bad again another theme every a lot of things are unfinished or they're literally just like the interiors are so bad I, like what am i doing here i don't know i gotta figure something out with it but you know one day i'll get there um you got a nice little view of this valley if um you know your render distance is up i need to get distance horizons but anyways so that is that and then you come to the back side here and we have a little farm connected to it where we have our farmer and then ah, he's gonna try to come in here and then we have our shed area this had a bunch of barrels but long story anyways what was the third thing that we built so the third thing that we built the third thing that doesn't even sound like english um was this town hall so i noticed that all of our villagers for some reason they don't anymore all of our villagers met up right here um i didn't know at the time but now i realize that's just what they do with the bells it's kind of the center of the village um but this is our little town hall we have i think it's pretty cool again uh this one is uh, the rest of these builds are my design so um this was just kind of my first build anyways town hall I kind of like it, honestly. Like, I like it a lot. But this serves as a functioning storage unit. Um, again, unfinished inside. I need to put honey blocks down so I can put a villager there. That's besides the point. This is our office. Again, unfinished. <laughs> but we have some diamonds in there. We I thought we had emeralds, but I think I just used them for our first 
mending, which was nice. Um, and then you come up here. I never claimed to be a good interior designer. Anyways, uh, but yeah, we have just our, our woods right here. We have our kind of blocks, our, like our mineable blocks. Uh, this is just kind of like animals. I don't know. This all makes sense to me, like the nature section. And then this is like, you know, the dark, heavy stuff. Anyways, that is that. So what's next? What's next? We built, we didn't really build it, but we started we didn't build this is what we did we started our series of adding our streets so if you look here you you see this archway and this is the street so our first ever street was bits boulevard shout out to you bits um and then you know wifey way so this right here coming up is bits boulevard and then coming right here like this is wifey way you'll notice this is wifey way right in front of my house because whenever i walk out of my house I wanted to be reminded wifey's way. I also never go in the house anyways. Um, and then, yeah, so we have like Jimmy street and the next video we'll have the next one. This is our little mining post, our little mining outpost area. Um, kind of not sure. Like if I like it or not, I think I do from far away. If that makes any sense. Like it looks pretty cool. I on okay. Like that I think looks cool, but the only problem here, is that this looks terrible, but that's where we killed our first wither. Anyways, so after we did this, right, we've been mining, doing all this good stuff. We came over here, and this was my first real, I think, like, cool design build. I had never put a smoke or a, a chimney up here, which is kind of odd. But after we built this, I believe, yeah, we built, we built this. This is our blacksmith. Um, I think it's pretty cool, not going to lie. Um... That is like definitely one of my most detailed buildings. I want to build more like roofs like that, but yeah, really just we have our, our like shed area where our guy can uh, do his things. They love looking at this lava. They just jump for joy with it, but we have our anvils. And again, these anvils, not again, but these anvils are like real anvils. They work. Um, they work. Obviously they work. They, we use them. Um, and then this chest, again, this is where, oh, that's where our emeralds and diamonds are. I don't know, man. But this is where our uh, kind of ores are, where all of our good stuff is. Not that copper is good stuff. Not sure why that's there. But, or that. But, you know, we also did have, like, the good stuff in these barrels. Things happen, man. This is, uh, you know, not the greatest, not the greatest setup, but... Kind of cool little interior right here. This is probably about as good as I can get for interior design. I put this here because all of my villagers were literally dying from coming here and jumping, jumping off of here. So I got to figure something out with that. This is my temporary fix. You get a nice view of the dirt over there. And this guy is our trader that we need to trade all the way up so we can get some diamond armor because right now your boy is struggling hard. Anyways, let's come over here and go to our nether portal. So this is our nether portal. Um, honestly, I think this is another really cool design. Uh, it's it's not like a, a building, right? It's literally just like a, it's almost like a monument, like a statue um, for our nether portal. Because I didn't really want a, a big building for it. I wanted it to literally just be out there. Um, but, guys, my pastor's gone. Also, in the same episode that we built this guy, we got our beautiful horse, Mosquito. Mosquito, I love you. I would do anything for you to come back. But, Mosquito has been gone. Mosquito ran away think he's just you know a delinquent teenager that doesn't want his father anymore so unfortunately i think our times with mosquito have come to an end but i will always and forever keep an uh keep an eye out for him anyways after that we built this guy right here i think i don't think i'm missing anything uh, yeah, we built this guy right here. This is our sugarcane farm and bamboo farm, as you can see. I didn't add a roof to it because I kind of like the idea of having the bamboo be the roof, the the kind of, uh, you know, detail up there. But 
again, I was leaving that up to the audience to decide that. But this is our sugarcane farm. It's not automatic, but it honestly produces a lot. And I don't need this to be like super automatic or anything like that. Um, that's our bamboo. I don't know why I needed to go up there. But nevertheless, I think it's a pretty solid uh, design if you can even consider it that. Um, but let me go to my map over here. So right there, we were just, oh, actually, hello. We built this huge wall. That, that was one of the episodes. That took a lot of time. That took a lot of mining. And frankly, that was the reason why we got the beacon. And that was the reason why uh, we got the beacon. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have anything else to say after that. But here is kind of the map of our village. So right here, I'm making this area kind of like my farming district. So I'm, you know, either next episode or the episode before this, you'll see. I built a carrot potato villager farm underground. I'm going to have something right here, maybe a bee farm. And then right here is going to be a watermelon pumpkin farm. And then this is my wheat farm and I'm putting beet roots over here. The reason for that being is uh, villagers can't do beet roots and uh, wheat anymore because they just make like bread and stuff. So that's kind of a bummer, but we'll do that. And then the next thing I want to do actually is build a canal system that goes all the way down here and through the valley because... If you can see right over here, I want to build a huge bridge that'll lead to a different section of our world, but that'll be in the future. Again, we're 200 days in. Um, and then right here, this is exclusive for you right now. Only you will know this. Over here in the next couple of episodes, we're going to be building a trading hall, but it's not going to be a trading hall. It's going to be a swap meet. And... Uh, all of our it's going to function like a trading hall and all of our villages villagers are going to be in there looking all cool cute handsome but that's about it yeah we have our our beacon that we just put in and that has helped us so much we have looting three which guys withers were the worst thing in the world the wither skeletons i hated that but guys i'm a little sad i gotta be honest i'm sad about my friend mosquito he wasn't the fastest he didn't jump the highest. He wasn't the prettiest. But he was my friend. And I miss him dearly. Mosquito, please come back.